Hi, Jenny here. I bought a Bella juicer. So today we're going to unbox it and try it out. Let's get started. All right, so here it is. It shipped to our house, so it came in. The box is pretty sturdy, it looks pretty good. Pretty pictures. This side's a little crushed in, so we'll see how it all goes, but it looks like I can open up the top. The book was right on top about the specifications, and then they have a whole couple recipes in here. Not too many, but we did look up some recipes online. And they've got some egg carton -y stuff up on top. So it looks like it's pretty well protected. Somebody that I work with recommended this. They said it was very easy to use and very easy to clean up, which is even more important. So there's the juice cup. And more ink crate. pretty nice. It has some suction cup feet on there, so that'll help hold it in place while we're juicing. Okay. Those feet are working. That looks good. So there aren't any dents or anything going on. So I'm going to give it a quick wash and then we'll make a juice drink. All right, we will take this apart. So we have to unlock the lid. And take that lid off. Pulp container. And this is the hardest part, the basket. These are the blades. So when putting it back together, See, there are arrows on here that need to match up. And this all comes off with the spout. Then you can see in here where the arrows have to match up. That looks good. And this unit did not come with a brush. I understand that some units have come with uh, their own brush to clean this area out. So I'm going to have to buy one of those. Um, make sure that yeah, no fingers get cut or anything, make it be safe. Um, otherwise, it's all, it is all also dishwasher safe. It can be thrown in there, but I think if I'm going to use this day after day, I want to clean it right away and be able to use it. Okay, the washing process went very easily, so we will now put it all back together. We have the spout on that side, which goes in there. And put the basket on. I now realize as I was washing it that actually the blades are way in the bottom. So this is just a mesh basket and then that's where the, you really have to be careful. Line that up, push that in, put our cover on, and our drip basket. Cover for our container. And then this area has a little divot in there that fits where there's a spot. And then this comes up and we'll lock into place. There we go. All right, we'll get our fruit and vegetables and get ready to juice. My daughter and I looked up some recipes that we wanted to try and we found some good ones at juicerecipes.com. So this first one we are going to try is called Perfection, and it requires two pears, one cucumber, one green apple, one orange, three cups of kale, or you could use spinach, half a lemon, two stalks of celery, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So they say for the citrus fruits you should peel them or else your juice may taste a little bit bitter. So I'm going to peel the orange and the lemon. And also if possible use organic fruits and vegetables because you are going to be eating the skins. And if not, or either way, just make sure that you wash everything really well. Okay, the juicer is all plugged in. 
It has two speeds, low and high. The low speed should be for the fruits and the high speed for the harder like vegetables and any greens. I cut some of my pears in half just because they seem so big. Never mind, we're gonna go for it. Alright, I'm still at half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I don't know. I don't know if I'll put that through the juicer or I could just add it on top. <laughs> Must say it was a little scary. And those things kind of fly around and the noise it was making. Um, the juice looks very good though. It's a good color. So it's supposed to equal the color of the fruits you're putting in there. The cinnamon out here doesn't dissolve anyways. It just kind of you have to mix it up. So I think we will just put that in on top. Put it in there. Let's see what it all looks like in here. All right, here it is. Looks pretty good. That was pretty easy. So let's see how it tastes. Mm, very good. Wasn't sure with a mixture of some of these ingredients, but you can taste the cinnamon, taste the cucumber. It tastes pretty good, just like some of the juice drinks I bought in the store. And I know this one's all fresh. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever juiced before and what your favorite juice recipes are try something new. I'm looking forward to using this every day and trying new things. If you'd like to watch another one video of mine, you can click up there. If you'd like to subscribe to me, click down there. In the meantime, keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye!